Hastings is not too dissimilar to other communities in which we've worked where you've got pipes that are turn of the century vintage pipes. We want to make sure our infrastructure beneath the ground is in a good serviceable condition and we knew that our water mains down here go back to the original 1906 installation. There's about 3,000 linear feet of pipe between six and eight inch inside diameter. It's all cast iron pipe. We knew that lining was the right technology for this area because of the nature of our downtown. We've got uh, a very vibrant area here, a lot of traffic. So we were able to use the structural water main lining, line the inside of that six and eight inch pipe, and then reinstate those services from inside the pipe. Access was a very important piece of this. That was one of the cornerstones of our uh, planning process. We had to keep the footprint as small as possible, traffic flow moving through the area to maintain that storefront access. What I really like about structural water main lining is it has a very small physical and carbon footprint. Another thing that we were very concerned about was making sure that our Saturday night cruising events that the local uh, Downtown Business Association puts on every other Saturday from Memorial Day up through the end of October. This was a, a huge deal, draws uh, thousands of people to downtown, hundreds of classic cars, and uh, they fill up the street end to end down here. And you start looking at, you know, the beauty of the downtown and you start thinking about these bar owners and you start thinking about these car shows and most of these historic communities, they've all got something going and you can't disrupt it. You can see somewhat behind me the, the Hastings Bridge project is still just winding down here. They had just gone through that work and activity for four years and uh, the prospect of more construction right out their front door, that was a real concern. The city went way above and beyond and getting the trust of these property owners after what they've been through on the bridge job um, it was a statement and a testament to Nick and his staff that they trusted them. Uh, through the education process, we developed a, a very good rapport with the business owners and I think uh, the outcome of that was overwhelmingly positive and, and folks are very impressed at the end result. We're able to get in, we're able to get the work done in a place like this, these kind of lengths, and they can have all of their events. SEH staff, very very good to work with. Paul Pascal, Kurt Wimpe, uh, Joe Clement all did a fantastic job helping us through this project.